Hi guys, this is Massive Dynamic here, and I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick uh, tutorial of how to design and implement a one-to-many uh, train station with the uh, the way train stations work now. A lot of people uh, still get confused by uh, how to regulate their trains and keep trains moving and um, sometimes overcomplicate things. Uh, so I came up with this really simple design so that I have uh, one coal mine, which I'll show you is right here. One coal mine here. And it's servicing two stations. So just a small base I've been kind of playing with for a few days. Um, so it serves this station here and keeps it full and also this station here which is cool liquefaction so it doesn't keep it as full it just keeps enough in there to keep my liquefaction running um, so uh, here here you go guys it's really simple so what you do is just take a wire red or green wire um, and wire all of the here let me just turn alt off so you can see a little better wire all of the chests together and tie all those into a power pole so that you can read your uh, contents of the chests in, on the power pole which right now I have 9300 coal in these chests and send that into one um, one um, decider combinator and set your combinator for your material which in this case is coal and set a parameter which in my case is uh, less than 8000 so even though these chests can hold uh, 2,800 uh, coal each. I don't need, you know, that, you know, the full chest of coal to run my coal liquefaction. It's just a small liquefaction plant. So I say less than 8,000 uh, output a green signal. Um, and then I take the output from that combinator to my train station, which I set um, here. And it says I set it for enable, disable, and send to train. And then if green is greater than zero, turn that station on. Um, so uh, uh, here's my train here. And right now it's unloading at the other station. Uh, it's heading back for more coal. Um, and this station is currently turned off, which I can tell because I also send that green signal via that red cable to these lights which are set if anything is greater than zero enable disable and use colors so when the station is enabled the green lights turn on that lets me know that I need coal here um, that's just for me but uh, as far as the train knows it only looks at the station uh, so I have uh, like I said the two stations wired the exact same way let me send this one over um, two. The other one is actually turned off right now, too, but we'll just drive over there manually um, just to see that it's wired exactly the same way. And you really don't need any more logic than that to uh, run this thing. I think I take a left here, and that should put me there. Yeah, here we go. Um, so... Yeah, so the exact same thing here. Um, the only difference on this station, you can see it's enable, disable, sent to train, green light. And here's my combinator. In this case, I say less than 10,000 because this one actually feeds my power and all my smelting. So even though it's not a big difference, uh, it does uh, kind of give this one the priority to make sure this one gets filled first. And everything else is exactly the same way. So. Uh, there you have it, guys. I hope this helps you. Uh, it's really simple. doesn't take a lot of materials and uh, nothing complicated about it. So enjoy that, and uh, we'll see you next time.